An antipope Latin, antipapa, is a person who, in opposition to the one who is generally seen as the legitimately elected pope, makes a significantly accepted competing claim to be the pope, the bishop of Rome and leader of the Roman Catholic Church. At times between the 3rd and mid-15th centuries, antipopes were supported by a fairly significant faction of religious cardinals and secular or anti-religious monarchs and kingdoms. Persons who claim to be pope, but have few followers, such as the modern sedevacantist antipopes, are not classified with the historical antipopes. History Hippolytus of Rome d. 235 is commonly considered to be the earliest antipope, as he headed a separate group within the Church in Rome against Pope Calixtus I. Hippolytus was reconciled to Calixtus's second successor, Pope Pontian, and both he and Pontian are honored as saints by the Catholic Church with a shared feast day on 13 August. Whether two or more persons have been confused in this account of Hippolytus and whether Hippolytus actually declared himself to be the Bishop of Rome, remains unclear, since no such claim by Hippolytus has been cited in the writings attributed to him. Eusebius quotes from an unnamed earlier writer the story of Natalius, a 3rd century priest who accepted the bishopric of the Adoptionists, a heretical group in Rome. Natalius soon repented and tearfully begged Pope Zephyrinus to receive him into communion. Novation d. 258, another 3rd century figure, certainly claimed the See of Rome in opposition to Pope Cornelius, and if Natalius and Hippolytus were excluded because of the uncertainties concerning them, Novation could then be said to be the first antipope. The period in which antipopes were most numerous was during the struggles between the popes and the Holy Roman Emperors of the 11th and 12th centuries. The emperors frequently imposed their own nominees to further their own causes. The popes, likewise, sometimes sponsored rival imperial claimants anti -kings in Germany to overcome a particular emperor. The Western Schism—which began in 1378, when the French cardinals, claiming that the election of Pope Urban VI was invalid, elected Antipope Clement VII as a rival to the Roman Pope—led eventually to two competing lines of antipopes, the Avignon Line Clement VII took up residence in Avignon, France, and the Pisan Line. The Pisan Line, which began in 1409, was named after the town of Pisa, Italy, where the Pisan Council had elected Antipope Alexander V as a third claimant. To end the schism, in May 1415, the Council of Constance deposed Antipope John XXIII of the Pisan Line. Pope Gregory XII of the Roman line resigned in July 1415. In 1417, the council also formally deposed Antipope Benedict XIII of Avignon, but he refused to resign. Afterwards, Pope Martin V was elected and was accepted everywhere except in the small and rapidly diminishing area that remained faithful to Benedict XIII. The scandal of the Western Schism created anti-papal sentiment and fed into the Protestant Reformation at the turn of the 16th century. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> List of historical antipopes. 
The following table gives the names of the antipopes included in the list of popes and antipopes in the Annuario Pontificio, with the addition of the names of Natalius in spite of doubts about his historicity, and Antipope Clement VIII, whose following was insignificant, an asterisk marks those who were included in the conventional numbering of later popes who took the same name. More commonly, the antipope is ignored in later papal regnal numbers, for example, there was an antipope John XXIII, but the new Pope John elected in 1958 was also called John XXIII. For the additional confusion regarding popes named John, see Pope John numbering. The list of popes and antipopes in the Annuario Pontificio attaches the following note to the name of Pope Leo VIII 963 At this point, as again in the mid-11th century, we come across elections in which problems of harmonizing historical criteria and those of theology and canon law make it impossible to decide clearly which side possessed the legitimacy whose factual existence guarantees the unbroken lawful succession of the successors of St. Peter. The uncertainty that in some cases results has made it advisable to abandon the assignation of successive numbers in the list of the popes. Thus, because of the obscurities about mid-11th century canon law and the historical facts, the Annuario Pontificio lists Sylvester III as a pope, without thereby expressing a judgment on his legitimacy. The Catholic Encyclopedia places him in its list of popes, but with the annotation, "...considered by some to be an antipope." Other sources classify him as an antipope, those with asterisks asterisk were counted in subsequent papal numbering. <laughs> Quasi-cardinal nephews Many antipopes created cardinals, known as quasi-cardinals, and a few created cardinal nephews, known as quasi-cardinal nephews. <laughs> Modern claimants to papacy In modern times various people claim to be pope and, though they do not fit the technical definition of «antipope», are sometimes referred to as such. They are usually leaders of sedevacantist groups who view the See of Rome as vacant and elect someone to fill it. They are sometimes referred to as conclavists because of their claim, on the basis of an election by a «conclave» of perhaps half a dozen laypeople, as in the case of David Borden, Pope Michael I, to have rendered the see no longer vacant. A significant number of these have taken the name, Peter II, owing to its special significance. From the point of view of the Catholic Church, they are schismatics, and as such are automatically excommunicated. Topic: Colonites. Michel Collin, self-proclaimed Pope Clement XV, 1961 to 1974, in France, founder of the Apostles of Infinite Love. Jean Gaston Tremblay, Gregory XVII, 1968 to 2011, in Canada. Topic: Palmarian Catholic Church. Clemente Dominguez y Gomez, Pope Gregory the Seventeenth, mystically self-proclaimed, 1978 to 2005, in Spain. Manuel Corral, Pope Peter the Second, 2005 to 11. 
Genese Jesus Hernande, Pope Gregory the 18th, 2011 to 2016. Joseph O. Dermott, Pope Peter the 2016 present. The Palmarian Catholic Church regards Pope Paul the whom they revere as a martyr, and his predecessors as true popes, but hold, on the grounds of claimed apparitions, that the Pope of Rome is excommunicated, and that the position of the Holy See has, since 1978, been transferred to the See of El Palma de Troya. Topic: Other examples. The following were elected by allegedly faithful Catholics, none of whom was a cardinal. Popes of the Legio Maria, based in Western Kenya, not technically conclavist. Timothy Joseph Blasio Attila, 1963 to 1998. Pius Lawrence Hiro Kiaji Adera (1998–2004), Raphael Titus Ottieno (2004–present), disputed since 2010, Romanus Ongombe (2010–present), disputed, David Borden, Pope Michael I (1990–present), elected in Kansas, USA. Victor von Pence, Pope Linus II, 1994 present. Another conclave, this time held in Assisi, Italy, elected the South African Victor von Pence, an ex-seminarian of the Society of Saint Pius X, as Pope Linus II in 1994. Linus took up residence in Hertfordshire, England. Pope of the True Catholic Church, Lucian Pulvermacher, Pope Pius XIII, 1998 to 2009, elected in Montana, USA. Mirko Fabriz, Pope Crav I, 1978 to 2012, elected in Zagreb, Croatia. Joaquin Lorenz, Pope Alexander the 2005 present, elected in ELX, Spain. Popes of the Iglesia Católica Apostólica Remanente, based in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Oscar Michaeli, Pope Leo the 14th, 2006-2007, elected by a group of 34 episcopi vagantes. Juan Bautista Benetti, Pope Innocent the 14th, 2008, resigned May 2008. Alejandro Tomás Grico, Alexander the 9th, 2008 present. Topic: Antipope of Alexandria. As the Patriarch of Alexandria, Egypt has historically also held the title of Pope, a person who, in opposition to someone who is generally accepted as a legitimate Pope of Alexandria, claims to hold that position may also be considered an antipope. In 2006, the defrocked married Coptic lector Max Mitchell became an antipope of Alexandria, calling himself Maximos I. His claim to the Alexandrine papacy was dismissed by both the Coptic Orthodox Pope Shenouda III and Pope Theodore II of the Greek Orthodox Church of Alexandria. The Coptic Pope of Alexandria and the Greek Pope of Alexandria currently view one another, not as antipopes, but rather as successors to differing lines of apostolic succession that formed as a result of Christological disputes in the 5th century. Another Coptic antipope is known to have laid claim in the 4th century. His name was Gregory of Cappadocia. Topic: 
Fiction Antipopes have appeared as fictional characters. These may be either in historical fiction, as fictional portraits of well-known historical antipopes or as purely imaginary antipopes. Jean Raspail's novel L'Anneau du Pêcheur, The Fisherman's Ring, and Gerard Bavix's La Porte de Lumière, The Lightbringer. The fictional synth pop artist Zeladko Vladchik claims to be the anti-pope in one of his songs. Dan Simmons's novels Endymion and the Rise of Endymion feature a father Paul Dure who is the routinely murdered antipope Teilhard I. At the end of the last novel, it is mentioned that the person calling himself the Pope of the Technocore Loyal Catholics is recognized by very few even among those, and he is referred to as an antipope. In the Girl Genius comics series, set in a gas lamp fantasy version of Europe thrown into chaos by mad science, among other things, there is a brief reference to the existence of seven popes, all of whom apparently ordered a particular text burned. Ralph McInerney's novel The Red Hat features a schism between liberals and conservatives following the election of a conservative African pope. The liberal faction elect an Italian cardinal who calls himself Pius XIII. In the video game Crusader Kings 2 by Swedish developer Paradox Interactive, Catholic rulers may appoint one of their bishops as an antipope. An emperor tier ruler such as the Holy Roman Emperor may declare war on the Papal States to install their antipope as the true pope, thereby vassalizing the papacy. In the video game Age of Empires II the third scenario in the game's Barbarossa campaign is called Pope and Antipope, and is based on the Siege of Crema and the subsequent wars of the Guelphs and Ghibellines. In episode 3 of The Black Adder set in the late 15th century, the Archbishop Baldrick remarks on selling counterfeit papal pardons, that one for the highest crimes requires the signatures of both popes, implying one pope and one antipope. At the end of the episode, the mother superior of the local convent informs Edmund that he has been excommunicated by all three popes. The Last Fisherman by Randy England features an anti-pope John XXIV elected in opposition to Pope Brendan I. Bud McFarlane's Pierced by a Sword includes an anti-pope John XXIV who is elected when the assassination attempt on Pope Patrick fictional successor to John Paul II is believed to have succeeded. He commits suicide at the end of the book. Topic. See also List of papal elections Papal conclave Papal selection before 1059